Have you ever wondered how much your personal data is being tracked online? You might be shocked to learn the extent of privacy violations every day that are happening. Let's dive into this world of hidden data tracking and how one tool created by a formal Google employee and obviously very intelligent professional and developer is shining a light on these practices. You know, it was it's a groundbreaking tool for surveillance provenance. In other words, you know, you will know and you can figure out who's learning, who's capturing and getting information about you online. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Welcome back, everyone. It's Demetrius here again from OB Pixel. So this will really open up interesting details behind the topic. Uh, let's explore this eye-opening truth behind a tool called Web X-Ray. This tool was created by former Google engineer Tim Libert. The tool reveals the alarming extent of online data tracking and privacy violations that many of us unknowingly face every day. It's revealing the shocking extent of online privacy violations happening right under our noses. This tool could actually change the game in protecting your online data. So what's the real problem with our data collection online that's happening from millions of companies around the world, especially some of the largest companies? Web X-Ray exposes how websites, including major ones like Google, Facebook, and so on, track every move online. This tracking includes sensitive information like searches that you make, like medical conditions and personal interests, uh, often without our consent, of course. They hide behind the third party cookie advertising organizations. Despite the laws that are out there around the world aiming to try and protect our data, these violations continue, leaving us vulnerable to misuse of our personal information. So the impact really is uh, these privacy breaches can be serious consequences in the future from, say, targeted advertising to potential data breaches. Even our most private searches are not actually safe, which raises concern about online security and privacy. As a security professional and an instructor teaching students about this every day. We go through this kind of thing in our courses, like the ethical hacker courses, the digital forensic courses, the penetration testing courses. And it is a very stark reminder that actually nothing you do online is private anymore. So what's the solution? Well, what can we do? Start by using privacy focused tools like Web X-Ray, and you can look it up online. You can go and find the tools online. I'm not going to give you hyperlinks to that. Do your own research and try and find the tools to understand sort of who's tracking you and take control of your data. Additionally, consider using browsers and search engines that prioritize privacy. Regularly clean your cookies in your browsers. And when you do clean your cookies in your browsers and your browser history, by the way, you're going to notice a very clear indication of the tracking that's going on because even the third party advertising companies will kick in as you load a page again. And then Google will kick in and will say, oh, we need to do the capture again. And we need to figure out if you're a bot because the reason it comes up again every time you clear your cookies and your browser cache is that it doesn't know that you're a bot. Right. So what it's actually doing is it's going into your history of your browser to figure out that you're not a bot, an automated machine. But the problem is it's reading everything. It has to read everything, all the cache, all the history that you've gone through in your browser. So effectively violating your privacy. And, you know, you also have to be cautious about the permissions that you grant to applications that communicate with websites. OK, so in a conclusion to this, I guess the, the more uh, it's more than likely, right, that uh, I wonder why Tim Libert is an ex-Google employee. You know, you always have to wonder about these things. But more importantly, let's not worry about conspiracies here. Protecting your, your privacy online is more important than ever. As you've seen recently with the CrowdStrike 
global meltdown of systems where it was a self-inflicted distributed denial of service just by simple updates in a software, which fascinates me considering that no thorough testing was done. But imagine this was an exploit, which would then manipulate systems when they were booting up and then, you know, taking control over applications and obviously starting to monitor people. You never know with these things. And that's why we've got to do audits for applications and audit these companies. But tools like Web X-Ray help us sort of understand the scope of the problem and take steps to safeguard our data. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like button and subscribe for more insights and uh, to, my, to my videos that I'm going to be making and then stay, stay safe online, you know, in this digital world that we live in. Thanks for watching and uh, stay safe online. This is Dimitris here once again from Obi Pixel and signing out.